Sagittarius to this Astro Dice reading for July. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what is going on with you in July. Uh, for those of you who are new, this is where I take Astro Dice. Okay, warm up the cards here for just a second. Okay, and let's get ready to roll those dice and see what's coming up over here. Best messages coming out. For July. Oh yeah, some Virgo energy coming out. Into the ninth house. Oops, into the ninth house. Into the ninth house of with some Neptune energy. Okay, so doing it Neptunian style over here. This is your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. They're doing a lot of dream work right now. Right now it's time to feel a little dreamy, getting into this, you know, this new kind of season. Uh, whether you're in Australia or New Zealand and it's winter, or whether you're on, you know, with everybody else that it's summertime. Um, so, however it is, it does feel like you're definitely in this kind of dreamy mode. What is it that I want, right? Could be manifesting daydreaming, however. Um, and using that Virgo energy, which is really going to be a grounding energy for you, which is very good. It'll keep you grounded, make you feel at peace and harmony within, you know, within everything, that's going on. Also, though, it's going to be the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, and humble with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. So definitely it's like I'm dreaming, but I'm keeping myself very grounded with that earth energy, right? But it's going to be very humbling, right? It's like I'm going to work, right? I'm diligent in what I'm doing, but I'm not going to allow myself to get pulled up into the air, right, where my head's in the clouds, I'm actually going to ground this energy and keep it very um, realistic. You're not daydreaming about something that's far off and so hard to reach, right? You're actually going to make it to where it's something you can actually reach out and grab, something that's realistic at this time, not just looking at something that's magical, right? Something that, you know, it's going to take a miracle to reach, right? No, you're saying the miracle here would be if I work this hard, I can have this, right? So it's it's something that's actually achievable. Um, and going straight into the ninth house, which I do love because that's saying with my, you know, with my spirituality um, and broadening my horizons of what it is, I can manifest this. I know how to get there. I know what I can do. Um, it's going to be a long journey. Um, the ninth house is about spiritual practices and understanding prayers and practice and manifesting and dreaming and all those things. Um, but it's it's one of those things where it's like through this I can get there, right? So pretty much kind of like using your higher self in a lot of ways, but yet, like I said, it's achievable. So let's go ahead and and get into the situation. The situation is going to take place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month when we're coming into the ninth house, right? You might even be on a long journey in itself, um, a spiritual journey, the awakening, the enlightenment, um, taking on those uh, practices of manifesting or, you know, really getting into your practices of prayers, however it is, through that dream, that dreaming could even be just meditation, learning to really meditate on a situation. Um, over here it says there's a lot of passionate projects, but you had a lot of scattered energy at the beginning of the month. So your scattered energy is what can cause those frustrations, right? So it's saying in the Neptune, I am dreaming of these things and fantasizing, and there's a lot of illusions and stuff, but there is also a lot of stress and impatience and that feels like where the ninth house is really going to come into play to remove that scattered energy as you calm yourself. I'm not allowing that to get ahead of you. So there could even be a little bit of greed on your side or a little bit of stubbornness in the very beginning because it's kind of like, but this is what I want. So you might even feel you're a little obsessed about the situation 
And I think it's because that Virgo energy coming in, and that's crazy because you have the King of Pentacles coming in, which is another Earth energy, Taurian energy coming in, but it's still saying that there's that grounded thing. But you have to understand if you're scattering energy, right, and you're using that impatience, that's going to cause um, this obsessed. You might feel like maybe you're over manifesting, over praying in some ways, right? Just like can't let it go. Um, so it is showing, you know, it's it's going to hurt a little if you if you don't slow down a little bit. You're actually pushing yourself more away from the goal than you are pushing yourself towards the goal because you're scattering this energy. Okay, so Spirit says, no, 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 I need you to really get into your spiritual side and really plan for what it is you truly want. When you're fantasizing, I want you to be humbled about the situation. Um, and a lot of times we do do that. We... You know, and even if we're really close to, right, if you really are close to achieving a goal, you might become a little more obsessed. You know, sometimes we um, overwork, right, instead of just do what we need to do, right? So, right, it's it's one of those things where we're, you're pulling too, too hard, right, on a situation. I mean, you, you literally, like the obsessed mind of, all day long, like, you know, I need this, I need this. And it's like, every time you have a peaceful moment, you're like, I got this, I need to do this, I need that, it's there, I got this. And it's it's supposed to be manifest and let it go. That way the universe has the, you know, God has the way of doing it for you. But within the ninth house, it's like you're pushing yourself more away from the transformation um, than of the dream coming in Right, and that's why it feels like there's delays. It feels like, why is it not coming in? Well, settle the mind, right? Let it give it time. There's too much impatience. Impatience just cause obsession. Um, so it's kind of like self-sabotage, right? So it's saying over here, yes, it, you might even be feeling like I was gonna give up the dream um, because now I might be feeling a little lack of confidence towards the situation, right? Because it's, not, it's becoming more overwhelming to try to uh, get this going. Right, because why does it feel like it's so far away? Um, yeah, so what it is you need to accept is accept that everything is, is going the way it's supposed to be going. You just need to back up. You need to back up from that situation. See, the Two of Cups is behind you. You just need to back up, right? Back up. Don't worry about it so much. Don't let it consume you. You're allowing it to consume you. That fantasy, that illusion, that that yearning, right, is becoming obsessive. Um, so you want to back up a little bit. Um, you have the King of Swords over here that says, yes, you need to become more disciplined within the situation where you feel more like things are more reliable, becoming your own sage. Now that's awesome because it's in the ninth house, meaning that you are your own guru in your own way. You are your own sage. You have your own advice through your own higher self. So by backing up, you're saying, I'm taking the discipline and the mental clarity to understand that my obsessiveness and trying to get to something and overthinking the situation, right? Or maybe you're even overthinking the situation as well. Um, trying to take new paths, trying to do this, trying to bring something in, which is still showing obsession to get somewhere. Um, you need to really ground yourself and become more um, disciplined in that situation. That Virgo will really help you. So right now, that's kind of where it's leading to, okay? So you're going to actually be honest with yourself and say, you know what, I am a little OCD about this situation because it's been a long time coming or I know it's right there and I'm trying so hard, um, but it's saying just back up, okay? Let it go for a little while. So going straight into the mid-month. There's still delays and frustration. It's like it's holding off. It's not, there's like this lack of, it's not in so much a missed opportunity. See, we don't really see, it's like the card of missed opportunity, but it's saying you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Knight of Swords. So it's saying you don't really have the missed opportunity. You might start seeing it as a missed opportunity because you're still frustrated, right? It's like, okay, so I back up, right? Let's say like, so this is the beginning of the month, we'll say like on the 8th or something, right? I back up. And I start just letting the, the reins loose, right? I'm not thinking about it. I've, I've overcome, right, my overwhelmness and, and my over-control. Um, 
and giving it different kinds of authority, right? Giving the authority where it needs to be. Um, since you're 100% not 100% in control of the situation, right? You're just kind of there. Um, so it says that it's causing kind of like by, we'll say the 15th, right? Because we're in the mid-month. Um, it's going to cause this panic, right? Oh my God, I gave the reins over. Why? Why? So then all of a sudden you're going to be fast thinking and it says you're driven to succeed. So you're going to take those reins back. Um, there's going to be ups and downs to the situation. There's still patience that's needed. You do have the Wheel of Fortune. So it is also, it's really about patience over here and the ups and downs of what's, of how the wheel is going. It's kind of like, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is a very beautiful card because it says whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that's, you know, that's what it is. It's kind of like, okay, well, maybe you let down too much reins, um, but you have to, you know, or it's just straight up impatient. We're going to look and see. It's causing your own tower. It's like your own suffering. Feeling like things are collapsing around you instead of picking up the pace. But it says that that's happening. Okay. It says that's happening because it's meant to happen. Okay. Because the real of fortune is an inevitable destiny and fate anyways. Okay. So I see where it is. So it's saying it has to be that way. So when you start feeling like things are starting to collapse within yourself or around you and you feel like, oh my God, this is a missed opportunity. This is getting worse. This is not going the way it's supposed to go that way. That's what you were supposed to do to let go of the reins. Because remember what it is, is it's saying, pretty much what it's saying is by you letting go of the reins, you made room. You're making room for something new to come in, right? When you let go of something, you're allowing something to come in. So now all of a sudden in the mid-month, you feel like, oh my God, things around me are collapsing. Things are getting worse. Things are not going, you know, but it has to um, because it's making the new beginning with the full. Okay, so you're going to get in there and you're going to try to take the reins back, but they're saying, N hold off. This is making room for what's coming in. It's the way it's supposed to be. You're overreacting. You're overreacting to the situation. Right. And remember, there's always an action time. Right. So it's pretty much saying I'm testing you. This is a test, too. For some of you, it's it's things are literally collapsing around you for a test. Um, for most of you, it's a test to see how well you're going to handle it. Because remember, the universe wants to give us things and throw us things to see what our reaction time is. You know, are you going to hold on to this collapse for, you know, for the rest of the month? Right? Or are you going to hold on to it for a couple of days, a couple of hours? The less reaction that you give to the universe, they're saying you can you can handle this. Right? So it wants to see how reliable you are on this situation. Are you reliable enough, though? So pretty much it's, it's you know what it reminds me of, my friends, is kind of like if you're making a lot of money and you want a promotion. Can you handle the money that's being given to you, right? Because if you, like, for instance, if you, if you can't handle losing something, you know what I'm saying, that's worth fucking 20 bucks and it's going to cause you a total collapse, like, oh my God, that was my toaster. And then you're going to hold on to that toast. Why would the universe want to give you something bigger? You can't even, you can't even lose the $20 toaster. So why is he going to allow you to have this $250 toaster? Do you see what I'm trying to say? So anything that we get something, Sometimes we're being tested on that. For others of you, it's something that has to do with room, right? You have to lose this to be able to get that. Do you see what I'm saying? So it could be either either or, or it could be two in one. It's going to be really hard because this is just a, a horoscope, and also it's not a personal reading. So it's, right, so when you see the collapse, right, that's going to happen, something's, you know, it, they're looking for your reaction time. They're looking to see how reliable you are to the situation um, of how well you're going to lose that, right? If you don't have enough room in your closet, you can't have more clothes, right? Because now you're going to scatter them all over the house. I mean, you just don't have room, right? And so it might be getting rid of something to make room for it as well. So getting on to the next one. It's definitely testing your spirituality in the ninth house, no matter what, because it's testing your reaction time, no, no matter how you want to see it. 
going straight to the end of the month. The end of the method saying you do have the ace of cups that's coming in so you do have some kind of proposal or marriage coming in or you may have these new feelings it's also spiritual spiritual feelings and it's the rise of your spirituality which is also crazy right because we're talking about the ninth house so it's definitely about your intuition really popping at the end of the month so i'm going to say that for the majority of you you're going to get past this inevitable um test this inevitable right down downfall of what's going on for this new beginning and it says trust i love that because in the middle of the deck it's the fool it says trust in the process opportunities are coming but you have to have blind faith you have to have faith that the spontaneous things that are happening around you this spontaneous tower that's coming is for your better good because it's going to bring in that that new beginning it's going to bring in that dream it's going to help really work that that out for you just don't try to over obsessively take those reins again don't do that right be brave during the tower moment so that you don't put everything in there and do not react to things like you're you know we're all dying right you don't need to hold on to those things forever right we all go through this because we're human the faster you get over it the faster things move on and better things come in so it's saying this is where you're going to find some unconditional love so you can open your heart and receive the emotions around you and really start feeling that love and really feeling like you're full so by the end of the month after all of this takes place something beautiful is going to happen to where you're going to feel like you have your cups of of love overfilled you're going to find the peace because the dove is there and it says you will find the peace so do not hold on to that tower for so long right so where the resistance and the standfall is it's saying please do not sit in a comfort zone do not allow this to become your hopeless situation do not allow this to become you know something of complete despair because you will feel that peace coming over you because after a storm always comes the rainbow that's the blessing always comes the sun okay so it says yes after the struggle comes the sun thank you it literally just says that so you're gonna it's gonna make you feel very overwhelmed on edge but all of that will be taken away by something beautiful coming in and it's gonna be different for everybody on how this beauty is whether it's comes from someone talking whether it's coming from something in the mail whether it's coming you know as a gift however it is it's definitely a gift because it's an ace So right now they just really want you to just really work on your self-care and do not have any kinds of strings attached or go back to the strings attached that you had in the very beginning of the month right you don't need those because there's all that lack of inner joy is going to actually turn around into inner happiness okay and the hierophant coming up in the ninth house love it god you know and this is saying this is like the approval the approval from the highest this is like the universe is approval they say okay you trust me you you are doing this you have the wisdom guys you're going to get this wisdom i believe with everything in my heart that you will pick up this wisdom that you will hear this word that i'm giving you this message and you will get it right and you will understand it and this is going to turn everything around because remember the hierophant sees nothing over his head right and even though you're very grounded in what it is you want there's still this idea that nothing is impossible, right? So, so this is where you're going to feel like everything that I've went through this month is going to put me back into a different path because it's a, the fool, a path of something so different. Wow, that I'm going to allow myself to see different changes. I'm leaving that place behind to go to this new place. So you, the travel in this situation is actually the travel from one old space into a new space and also traveling away from an old energy into this brand new energy where I can now feel like goals can just truly be attained, right? Because now I can make decisions that are not bringing me into a place of obsession or holding onto the reins too tight, 
but I can feel like things are really working for me, right? And that all I needed to do was just let go a little bit, and then I can discover this whole new, it's, you know what I mean? It's kind of like quantum leaping, right? I kind of quantum leaped because I'm seeing things coming around me. No more self-sabotage. I'm leaving self-sabotage behind so that I can become the king that I am because now I can see the bigger picture. So all of a sudden, this is going to bring in these new feelings, this new energy, this new idea, this kind of quantum leap within yourself that's going to allow you to overcome these challenges and knowing that that challenge was a lot of self-sabotage, but also, right, being allowed to feel like, wow, now I'm in a leader spot, but I'm in a leader spot differently. Because I'm, you know, it's kind of like, remember, guys, you're not the creator. You're just the co-creator, right? Sometimes we forget we're not making the overall difference. We're putting in the action to make the overall difference. And sometimes working harder is not working smarter. So for a lot of you, it's going to be with the King of Swords in the very beginning of the month, learning that working harder is not working smarter. I need to work smart, not hard. Not harder, right? But that's you becoming that sage. Man, guys, what a beautiful reading, okay? So in the end of the month, you're really going to see things definitely change around for you in a whole different way. Now you're going to wake up and you're going to be like, I'm on a fool's journey. I'm doing something different. Why is everything so different, right? You won't feel this in the mid-month, though. That's the beginning of why. You really won't start feeling that to the very end of the month. Okay, once you get that Ace of Cups, that new feeling coming over you. Okay? Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.